and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an update for the Rocky Horror Panning Show Project Pan that I'm doing in the Pantastic Ladies. This is probably the first update. I know it's been a while since I posted the introduction. I didn't have enough progress to show you guys, so I skipped an update. Um, but whatever update we're at will be the title of this video, basically, so you'll know before me. But yes, I have my items here, and I'm just going to go through some of the ones that I haven't used yet and some of the ones that I've actually finished. So the first item was Rocky, and for Rocky, I picked an eyeshadow and I picked from the Urban Decay Naked palette this shade here in Half Baked. I've not touched this eyeshadow yet. To be honest, I'm not reaching for the warm golds right now. Maybe at some point during this project, it wasn't my most thought through item within this project because it's a summer project and this is definitely an autumn-y type shade that I would reach for, but I thought I was being clever by calling it Half Baked. So yes, that's that one. The next one was Frankenfurter and for Frank Converter, I picked the Avon Magic Effects Mineral Crush Nail Polish in Rose Quartz and we were at the blue line and we are now at the purple line just below it. I have used this a few times. I'm not sure we'll get it done in this project but hopefully we will see more progress as this project continues. The next item was Brad Majors and for Brad Majors I picked this. This is the Maria Nilla Cream Heat Spray. It's a, like a leave-in spray for your hair that also has heat protectant as well as detangling and treating and all that kind of thing and this is actually empty now so this will go in my empties video which I've not filmed yet but we started at the top blue line and then got down to the second blue line I must have done an update because why would we be down to the second blue line anyway we're finished now so that's that the next item was for Janet Weiss, and for Janet Weiss I picked the Soap and Glory, the Scrub of Your Life Body Scrub, and we started at the top blue line, and now we're at this blue line here. The next item was for Riff Raff, and for Riff Raff I picked a eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Moondust palette. Oh, I nearly dropped that then. And I picked this shade here in Galaxy. Again, this is an eyeshadow that I've not used because I've been focusing on other things. I might use it during the summer months. I This is the thing, we're not going anywhere, and I didn't really think this through and I'm not really likely to wear such a glittery bright eyeshadow if I'm not going anywhere like if I'm going to the shops then I'll just wear like neutral tones or like spring peachy tones not a bright blue glittery eyeshadow so we'll see I won't be mad if I don't get it done it just it is what it is the next one was magenta and for that I picked the Avon lipstick in matte fuchsia I've not touched this so I won't show you up against the paper, but that is where we are right now. And we're still at the starting point on the paper, so there's no point in showing you the measurement. For Columbia, I picked a glitter. Again, not gonna wear glitter to the shop really, so I've not touched this. I think maybe I've used it once by the looks of things. It is this shade here. You can see that the glitter has definitely moved, but I don't remember using it. So I d I, it's not like I dug in and didn't use it because obviously it's been used and I wouldn't necessarily just dig stuff, but there we are, that's where we are right now. The next item was for Eddie, and for Eddie I picked the Urban Decay Perfect black eyeliner and I have used this once or twice but I have been focusing on other eyeliners so if I see no progress on this then I won't be surprised as you can see here you can tell that I have used it a little bit maybe once but not any real progress in terms of like the line moving the next item was for Dr. Scott and for that I picked the Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1 peppermint pure castile soap this huge thing it is a liter and I have completely used this up like there's a teeny bit in the bottom but like when I turn it and like squeeze it out it was like basically squeezing air so I'm just gonna call this done. I'm not the biggest fan of this particular product so I'm not bothered about the teeny bit in the bottom but yes that is that one. So that's two items in this project done, which I'm not mad about. The next item was for the Criminologist. For the Criminologist, I picked the matte lip liner in Whirl, and I have used this. So we will just see where we are on the paper. And that is where we are. I'm not measuring this very well. I don't know if you can tell, but we're just below the line. The next category was for your favourite song and I picked Damn It Janet and for that I had like a sachet which was like purple, the same colour as the suit that she wears in that song and I actually used it once and then depotted the rest of it into here which I don't know if you can tell because it's a gel and it's not like liquid in there, it's not moving when I move the pot around but it is like teeny tiny bit at the bottom, teeny tiny bit. That's all that's left of that so this one will be done by the next time round. The next item 
bottom was your favourite quote or scene and for that I picked the line I've been making a man with blonde hair and a tan so I didn't have any tanning products because I don't use them but I did have a hair mask and this is the Soap and Glory One Dishner hair mask and this is where we are right now to be honest I've not touched this since the last update because I've had other hair masks in my hair um, but I will go back to that once I use those up so uh, the introduction it was 288 grams last time it was 255 grams and it still weighs 255 grams and the last item was a bonus item and for that I picked the Urban Decay uh, 8 hour highlighter in Sin and I wanted to hit pan and I still have not hit pan in this highlighter this highlighter is the bane of my life I swear I'm going to be panning this in my 80s and still have not hit pan I just it's ridiculous but we'll keep going eventually hopefully I will hit pan that's all the items for this project I hope you enjoyed this update Thank you so much for watching, take care and I will see you very soon. Bye!